Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Opponent's deck must be fueled by Red Bull. That's all. That, I mean, they've got they've got energy for days, right? You see what I did there, YouTube? That joke was funny because Red Bull. By the way, this is not a sponsored ad. Is an energy drink company, and it gives you energy when you drink it. Do you get, do you get it, YouTube? Are you looking to upgrade all your Commander decks with all the sweet new stuff from Commander Legends? Well, don't you worry about it because Card Kingdom has all the Commander Legends products up right now for order at cardkingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Historic 101. As you all know, Kaladesh hit the meta this week, so you know what that means. We are playing Demir, but... Demir Artifacts, not the typical Demir control that you're used to seeing me play. Still kind of plays that game plan, but the difference is this time around. We've got all the good little cheap artifacts we've been missing, uh, so let's go over those. Specifically, Kaladesh brings in Renegade Map, Servo Schematic, Cogworkers Puzzle Knot, cards like these that are generating, like, so example, that's two mana, generate two artifacts off the Puzzle Knot and the Schematic. Renegade Map's like a free roll, it nets you a land if you need it to be, which is why we're able to run like a low land count. And of course, when you have this many artifacts, we're bringing up a good old Dominaria, like, a uh, favorite of mine, the Antiquities War, which allows us to turn all of our artifacts into five fives. Uh, on the third chapter. So when you just seriously just like explode the board with a bunch of artifacts, cheap artifacts, that's a real way to close the game. But uh, of course, let's go over the, I mean, the main title of the deck. I mean, it's called Herald for a reason. Herald and Karn, right? And yes, that is a White Castle reference, but it's because Herald of Anguish is now in the format. A powerful mythic that relies on Improvise. It's seven mana, but Improvise, your artifacts can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. So uh, you get to pretty much tap all your cheap little like artifacts to pay for this, reduce the cost, and then as flying at the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card, pay two, sack an artifact, target creature gets minus two, minus two. So this is great, easy to cast uh, with all the artifacts we have, and most importantly, just choose away at our opponent's hand very quickly. If we ever get to stack this, things get out of hand real fast, literally. And I guess that's also a joke, because, you know, discarding. Uh, but Padim, Console of Innovation, another card that comes in from Kaladesh that gives our hexproof, uh, hexproof to all of our artifacts. And for the most part, I assume we're going to be the only person running the artifacts, so if we have the highest CMC artifact or Tide uh, for the highest converted mana cost, we draw a card on our upkeeps. Mostly, this is just here to protect, like, Graf Digger's Cage against Goblins and, 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 and Aetherworks Marvel and stuff like that. And, of course, Karn, uh, just here because it makes artifacts, helps us draw. And, of course, Tezzeret the Schemer. Didn't see much play in Standard, but maybe here where we can use uh, Tezzeret as a singleton to make tre uh, artifact tokens, uh, Ethereum cells, uh, that kind of are treasures. They just add mana, but more importantly, they're artifacts, which is the big thing. And, of course, those artifacts feed into himself where he can just kill something for us or pump something if we'd like him to. Uh, and then, of course, you get the emblem where at the beginning of our upkeep, all of our any artifact of our choice can become a 5-5. Five five. So, without holding up any longer, let's see how this deck does in a league. All right, let's mulligan that. Uh, I'll keep this. All right, so we have a fatal push. Uh, the map schematic. Schematic gives us two, so one, two. Hold up, fatal push. We're on the draw, I believe. So probably gonna move that to the bottom. All right, so we at least know it's not some kind of aggro deck. It's probably mono blue rogues. Could be control. Uh, we'll have to find out here. All right, opponent. Blue red. Interesting colors. I will always respect those colors. All right, Omen of the Sea. So what are they playing? Huh. This could be the Teamer deck. The the one that, like, they haven't shown green yet. But it could still be that, I guess. The, the, the combo deck, randomly. Although they don't play this many uh, cantrip effects. So, let me see. So we have three artifacts right now. We want about... One more. Let me see. How do we get around this? I mean, maybe if we added red to this, we could play the Improvise. The other Improvise creature. The Maverick Thopterist or whatever. I mean, I'm just going to play Tezzeret and see if they counter it. They must have counter magic. They haven't played anything. All right. There we go. So we know what we're getting in a few turns. Um, What's the opponent looking to do here? So if they commit... That, I mean, they don't get to cast the back half due to Graf Digger's Cage. So that's the nice thing about that. 
Do I want to crack any of these lands? Probably not. Okay, so they are Grixis. Uh, does this resolve opponent? Alright, so that's three, five, seven. Does that work? It probably gets removed, right? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. So now they go to discard. They have to throw something away. Alright, so that's not enough to kill our friendly neighborhood Herald here. Alright, so we burned two cards and discarded another card from their hand. I like that. Alright, so Storm's Wrath thrown away. What are they going to play soon here? I mean, they know Tezzeret's coming. Tezzeret is on his way. Garuda. Alright, so Garuda's going to mill me. Uh, we don't have any even-costed creatures. Huh. Uh-oh. They milled our... Our Tezzeret, which is actually one, the only way we can deal with this card right now. I'm going to hold on to this land. I think they probably have a Bolus. Sure. Let's block. So they can't wheel. Uh, sure. They thought sees. I can't do anything with that anyways. Let's play Prismatic pr or Prophetic Prism. See if that resolves. Alright. No on the Prophetic Prism. Opponent's got it. So we're going to... Probably just take this bit of damage. I think I can take six here from the opponent. Uh, we'll see what happens the turn after. If I need to, I'll play the cog workers puzzle knot. Or pop that. Okay. Well, we'll pass in case they have another thought seize or something along those lines. Torrential gear hulk. Okay. So never mind. I think we're about to die. I mean, like, just because the the sheer power. They can't cast anything, but. Alright. Uh, what else do I have to board like this? I don't think I have anything. I mean, one. Yeah, it's about the same. I mean, I'm gonna just go to one. It doesn't change anything. I don't have any way to kill either one yet, so just gonna go ahead and let it go. All right. So they play neutralize. They play all these things. They have energy. They seem to be Grixis control. All right. Sure. They got it. Put another one of those into play. That's pretty good. Now that we wheel, I guess. Sure. Uh, not very good right now when I need to actually be able to like, I mean, I need these earlier. All right, let's just go to the next one. They're, they have a full grip of cards. We can't come back from that. Okay, so uh, probably want some of these. I didn't see a Nico Bolas, but I should be wary that they probably have something. Uh, something like with Bolas in it. Um, nine cards out. Fatal Push has no targets in this matchup. Um, Tiquity's War is a good one if we can get it to stick, but that's going to be a huge if. And Aether Spell Bomb. I don't think I want to return anything the opponent can potentially have on the battlefield back to their hand. Um, let's see, what else do we want? Padim is here to protect our artifacts, but realistically, that's just a bunch of little rocks. However, it is nice to know that they just can't bounce any of our stuff freely. And Padim kind of gives us a little bit of a card draw, so. I kind of like it. Let's see. What else can I get onto the deck? Into the deck? Onto the board? I think we want Antiquities War, but like, how many artifacts do we have right now? We have tw probably want as many artifacts as I can get, right? So four cards that are non-artifacts. Hmm. Tezzeret would have to resolve, but Tezzeret resolving means that we get to just constantly make a bunch of artifacts. Karn's pretty good too. I guess we just go ahead and start. I mean, we can shave it. No, size pretty good. You know what? I'll just kick Padim out. Uh, which card do we want now? I guess Tezzeret. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll try- this is a much better start for us. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this island. Do I want to even play the Spell Bomb? Probably not. I'd rather just save the Spell Bomb for after I- I play Psy. Alright, looks like we're getting Thought Seized. I think they take the Tome here, right? Tome makes it- makes it so that I don't, like, scry, dig my way to something else. Especially when I'm on the play. They take Psy? Okay, that, that works too. I think I'm good. Alright, they might have a braid, which is going to be concerning. Yep, Thoughtseize seems good. So there goes my Antiquities War. We really do get bodied by Thoughtseize here, but... I mean, I don't know what, I, what, what I'm going to do about that. Like, I, I don't think there's any point in me trying to sideboard something for that. Um... I guess I'll just go ahead and play the Spell Bomb, right? Now that I don't have anything, and I'll just go ahead and start using the Maze Mind Tome to draw cards. So they have Counter Magic. We should probably add Thoughtseize to this deck ourselves. And at some point here, the opponent will probably just start 
like play like I mean I guess they they go online around six mana so should be mindful of that. All right, Shark Typhoon, you got it. Hmm, how do we beat a control deck? Can we beat a control deck? They've taken six. That's the good news. Four artifacts here. Sure, let's go ahead and play this. See how they feel about that. Sure, that's fine. So opponent's got Glimmer. That's pretty good. They bought him too, so they're looking for more. Graph Digger's Cage. Definitely what I like, but do I like it enough to tap out? Probably not. All right, pass. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to use uh, the mana like from. Well, I don't want to use the Maze Mind Tome right now. All right, what do they have? Anything I'm afraid of from the opponent. If they bounce the in with Antiquities War, we just play it again. All right, sweet. One drop, one drop. Yeah, you know what? I'll just play that. I'll play the one drop. Cast this one drop. How do you feel about that one, opponent? Um, I'll just go ahead and play the Graph Digger's Cage this way. If they have the uh, anything to follow up with here, I'll be able to... Hmm. All right, I guess I'll play this again. See if this is okay with the opponent. All right, all of it's good. I'm gonna go in for an attack. If they don't have an answer to my Antiquities War, we, we win next turn. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, you got it. So we're gonna definitely jam again. And soon we're gonna jam the Herald. So next turn, we can go ahead and play the... They like that card in their hand, so it's probably Thoughtseize that they're looking for. I don't know, there's a lot that I'm afraid of from the opponent here, so... Kinda hope... They don't, like, I mean, they're, they're, they haven't played any cards, right? So there's a non-zero amount of gear hulks. There's a non-zero amount of things in the opponent's hand that are, are going to be very, very problematic soon once they resolve. I'll play the Antiquities War. Commit. Huh. Let me think about that. How do I feel about commit? I won't get a better chance to do anything, like, about it. But I guess I could save that for something else. Uh, I'll try to play Herald. I'll just send in two artifacts or whatever. The little one ones. Try to swing in. If they want to trade, they can. And now they have to discard. They can't cast anything from the graveyard, so that feels nice. If they play something like Sublime Epiphany right now, that's good news for us. Like on their upkeep. Alright, so they chose to not abrade something. Also, that this should have been tapped, by the way. I shouldn't have let the the auto tapper tap my maze mind tome. Yep, there it is. The punish. All right, so they've once again milled. Oh wow, and they hit the gear hulk. But I hold on. Uh, cage prevents that, so that's good. All right. Um, let's see, what do we do now? We can bounce that back to their hand, make them play it again. Yeah, no, it's cool. We'll just keep running them out of cards. I, I think we about have it. I mean, like, if they don't play anything this turn, I'll go ahead and just bounce uh, Geruda back to their hand with Spellbomb. And then I'll go ahead and just kill the Brazen Borrower when they flash it in by sacrificing an artifact. And if they also try to remove the Herald of Anguish... There we go. Seems good. And all right, we got game two. That's good. That's a, okay. I can't believe we actually got that one. Solid. This is like kind of an abysmal matchup. So like any any chance we get to take take a game off of them, that that feels pretty good. I won't lie. Graph Digger's Cage is kind of an all star here if they're playing Garuda and stuff like that. Uh, Tezzeret does feel a bit slow. Maybe yeah. Maybe we just play a Braid here. How many artifacts do we currently have? Twenty one artifacts. Okay. So we can probably go with, on the draw, I just don't see us having many opportunities to windmill slam something like Antiquities War, so. Huh. This is a hand. Can I keep this? I mean, we have Graph Digger's Cage, Metallic Rebuke. We don't have anything to, like, close out the game, but it's not bad. We'll save the Fetid Pools for a cycle. And I'm just going to windmill slam the, the cage this turn. So the next turn, we get to just go two mana Metallic Rebuke. It's pretty much mana leak. Two mana for this card? That's pretty much mana leak. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> opponent is making decisions. All right. 
Tome. That's a good card to see. Pay two life. Play Graph Diggers. Cage pass to the opponent. See if this resolves. Opt. Yep, seems good. So we're not getting Thoughtseize turn one, but that doesn't mean we don't get Thoughtseize turn two. Nope, never mind. We don't get Thoughtseize, but we get a Braided. Womp. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, I'm going to play the Tome. So they abraded our cage, which really does shut down a lot of their deck, and that does feel good. Let's take a looky at what we can find here. Another Tome. I'll take that too. So what do I want to just... Do I want to rush into something and just, like, get owned by a... Uh... I'm just going to play a Servo Schematic, see if they counter it. Servo Schematic. It's so underwhelming that... Do you counter this? Who knows? Uh, sure. Seems like a good counterspell. They, they, they know what's up. They can't let me improvise. And I wasn't going to play Psy into the open mana, so we're going to make sure they had it again. All right, let's scry one more time, then start using the rest of this for draw. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. We just throw a bunch of, like, really cheap, dinky artifacts out at the opponent. Make them do stuff about it. All right. Now I'm probably going to go ahead and play uh, Psy in the following turns. So I'm going to counter this. Tap for Improvise, tap for Improvise. We'll cut them cut them off their card drop, leave them on two. They seem to be stuck on black mana. All right, we're going to go ahead and play this again. Hopefully they don't have Mystical Dispute. I want them to use hard ma uh, counter magic here. All right, so still nothing. They can't abrade our, th our Psy. They have the black mana they're looking for. Do they have Mystical Dispute? They do not. All right. Does our gravy train continue? Wow, we got to untap with Psy. What a timeline. What a timeline. As much as I would love to just Windmill Slam Padim here to protect our artifacts, I do think we need to start re-upping our hand. Either I A, find the gates or something, or an actual way to close out this game pretty quick. All right, we're going to draw a card. Nice. Oh, let's see. They could have a shark token, right? Let's see what the opponent says about that. We control the biggest artifact? Um, sure, that's fine. You got it. Oh, I should have ascribed. Oops, my bad. Should have scryed in response to that. So now I don't mind attacking, right? Because what's the worst that happens that could happen here? All right, so we're going to get to draw on our upkeep from Padim. Nice. Not nice. Um, sure. That's fine. No need to counter that. I'll go ahead and just get in for two. And we just continue our little, uh, like, value train here. We know what we're drawing next turn. Alright, we countered the commit. And now we got there! Whoo! This is a one-lander, but with how many cheap artifacts we have and the Psy, I think I'm going to try this. We have a Prism, we have a Renegade map. If I need to, I'll go ahead and nab the land uh, with Renegade map. Alright, so we are going to have to counter that Aetherworks Marvel. It's okay. It's okay. We got another turn before this becomes an issue. But once again, not too big a deal, because I can just immediately sacrifice this. Serve into the Conduit. That's a problem. Who's going to draw land? Nice. So if Marvel comes down, we lose the game. If Marvel go comes down right now, we lose the game. Huh. I guess we still need to keep drawing, though, right? We just got to hope they don't have it. Land, four cards. What are the odds, right? We'll gamble. We're gambling. All right, sweet. We drew a land pass. Please don't have the Marvel. Please don't have the Marvel. All right, cool. They don't have Marvel. Woo! Yes! That's exactly what we needed. Alright. They have a lot of energy, but, you know, that's cool. That's their whole deck, right? That, that makes sense why they would have a ton of energy. Now, if you do resolve a Marvel, this game is going to be very over very quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and play uh, Servo Schematic and pass. We have the Spire of Industry, so we can actually, like, block if we want to. Or, I mean, like, a double block, but I don't think I'm going to be... Oh, no, no, this is not the Cogworkers puzzle thing. I'm going to play a Psy and see what happens. Alright, pass. <laughs> Are you going to blow it up? 
So they're not blowing it up yet. That feels good. So the game plan is this upcoming turn, if we don't draw a land, we pop the Renegade map. I hate this card so much. Alright. So we do need to actually draw a land off this, or get a land. Uh, alright. Hopefully they don't have a Marvel. Okay, nothing from the opponent yet. Perfect, I'll take that. Oh uh, boy. Let's go to combat attack. All right, no Marvel. No Marvel, no Marvel, no Marvel, no Marvel, no, no Ulamog, no nothing. Or if they Marvel, they need to miss. That's what we need to have them do. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. It's going off? Uh, attack? There's no, this isn't like double white, right? They're not gonna like settle the wreckage me or something. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right. <laughs> that was so sick. All right, um, <laughs> let's get some stuff going. We should also probably name Etherworks Marvel, just in case. Six cards for this opponent seems reasonable. Uh, seven cards, actually, because I probably want Padim, but Padim doesn't protect my Antiquities War. Herald of Anguish is nice. I haven't found many targets for Fatal Push, so I'll leave that as just a, a few copies. I mean, outside of just the uh, Mana Dork, but, like, is there something better to hit with that? Nissa's Lands... Sure, but mm, it's not a real thing. How many artifacts we got? 21 artifacts. Uh, do I want Psy this early? Like, uh, on the draw, probably. I do want Psy. Graph Digger's Cage makes it so there's a lot of stuff they can't play off of Marvel if they have one. So I kind of like that. There's no way I resolve an Antiquities War against this opponent, right? So this is perfect. We have a turn one play. Hopefully we get around Thoughtseize before they do anything. Let's go ahead and just pay two life. Get a Graph Digger's Cage. Really make sure that they know they can't cast anything from their graveyard or get stuff to enter from the library. Of course, we know they'll abrade. Alright, you got it. Let's draw a card. Another land, not bad. So, I do want to resolve this side pretty bad. But the question is, will I get to keep it? Ooh, they are shy on lands here. Still gonna play this, uh, this Psy here. Their hand must be pretty good if they kept a two-lander. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. And let's just keep the train going. All right, and we got there. Woo! I'll take the play. Don't mind if I do. It seems good. All right, so this, this is a pretty solid opener right now. We have a counterspell. Uh, we have Maze Mind Tome. We have lots of stuff we could do here. I think I'm gonna just slam the... It depends. If we don't draw more lands, then I might have to slam the Tome on the board. But Servo Schematic looks pretty appealing. Servo Schematic gives us a huge discount on Metallic Rebuke. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, let's go and just jam the Servo Schematic and pass. Blue-red from the opponent. What does that mean for us? Uh, yeah, I guess I could go ahead and play the Maze Mind Tome. Uh, you, would you like to blow something up? Alright. Now, by attacking, that means I, I do leave myself open and I can't improvise with Metallic Rebuke. Uh, what do I want to do here? Probably the play an Herald of Anguish, right? Keep the opponent discarding. Make them answer my Herald. All right, sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Antiquities War, see if they want to answer it or not. I mean, they've got to answer the Herald, and if they answer the Herald, then that means I get to keep my Antiquities War. They counter this, Herald stays. Oh. You know, this does bounce a creature back, so, and it's a cheap artifact, so I don't mind. Sure. Seems good. All right, there goes an Ulamog from the opponent's hand. That seems good, so they must have a Marvel. 
Like, they kept it. Oh, nice! And we got there. We got there. Alright, so Etherworks Marvel answer. They play little Weenie Hut creatures, so we gotta be able to beat that. Uh, what do we want to do against this specific opponent? So, Marvel seems to, to be pretty good. I would say pretty good against us if they get to resolve it and we don't have anything to answer. So, let's try to keep that from happening. I think that's plan number one. Seems solid. I'm sure YouTube agrees with me. Perfect. Keep. No, I mean, well, the only thing that would make this better is we had a Graph Digger's Cage, but, you know, we can't handpick our seven every time, you know what I mean? As much as I'd like to. Oh, a turn one artifact. That means this is now online. Sick. Explore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, I only need to make sure that I have something to do this following. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll counter that. Keep them from drawing more cards. Oh, it didn't tap my blue- it didn't leave my blue untapped, so that's concerning. Is this teamer energy from the opponent, or is, like, it, it is teamer Marvel for a fact, actually. It, why would it be anything else, right? So they didn't have a land on that draw. Or they probably would have played it, so let's go keep digging for counter spells. Alright, pass the opponent. Oh, please, deck. Let's just hope they don't have the Marvel, and they respect counter magic. In this household, we respect counter magic. Let, we'll, we'll tank, okay? This is what we call esports mode. We tank. Sure, that resolves. We had nothing. We had no counter spell. But whatever, esports mode activated. Alright. And this is why tournaments are slowed down exponentially by players like me. Okay, go ahead. Let's see what the opponent's doing over there. This has got to be a Marvel turn, right? Now that they have counter mana, ma uh, like backup. We just got to hope they miss. That's the goal. Oh. Let's scry first. Let's see what's on top. If we can get a... Five energy, that means they have a total of eight energy once this resolves. Uh... Wow, we got lucky. I mean, we gotta also hope that they don't counter us back, but I assume they will. Yep. Yep. Oh, they, they pay for it, too. That, that means they tap out. Whatever. That's good. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, now that they're tapped out, maybe I can actually resolve stuff. Uh, I guess we pass, right? I should have done that line when I thought I actually had when I actually had something to do. Ugh, I messed that up. I slightly miscounted their mana too. That was a huge problem of mine. Well, hope they miss. A braid. Seems good. Uh, yeah. So they did miss, thankfully. Okay, we gotta keep digging. We gotta find something soon. We gotta find a graph digger's cage. Anything along those lines. Okay, another swamp's good. Another swamp's always good. I'm kidding. I'm obviously kidding. That is not what I want, but that's what I got, so... No blocks. Alright, so we drew Psy. That's pretty good. It's definitely along the lines of what I'd like to see. So next turn they get one more spin, right? Uh, what can I do about all of that? So they spend three mana, they pop this. Oh, maybe they don't have to. Yeah, they're good. And after they use, uh, they spin now, they get to go again. Chandra? Sure, that seems good. I'm the best fire starter there is. Let's draw some cards. We desperately need it. Or draw a card. A land! Not good. Time to die. It's pretty bad. So they've got a pop. Okay, there you go. How am I drawing so many lands? Not bad, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Go to combat. We make them use that energy that they've got in the bank there. That nets them one. They have two mana open. We don't let it block. Fatal push. Unfortunately, that still nets them another energy, but 
Not much I'm doing about that. And they've got two more. They, they get another spin after all of this. I am out of here. I need to figure out what I'm going to do because I've seriously got too many lands. Too many lands. If they keep missing on these Aetherworks Marvels, that means that they have a non-zero amount of Ulamogs in their hand. Luckily, most of our stuff is irrelevant. So even if they Ulamog us, it's the Ulamog actually attacking that's a problem. It's But the exiling part of it is like, whatever. Alright. These are some unlucky hits from the opponent. But yet at the same time, kind of good. I mean, they, these just help you recover, right? Where are my win conditions? I hope I don't draw any counter spells. Or a land. Alright. I play 21 lands, right? Alright, 3, 6, 9, 10. Alright, well we couldn't possibly draw any more lands. Surely, we just couldn't draw any more. That'd be ridiculous. Alright, sure. How many Ulamogs do they have in hand? Three, six, seven, eight. There's no way they miss now. You don't miss 18 cards in unless you have all of your Ulamogs in hand. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And or creatures to their owner's hands. You may cast a spell, four CMC or less. So they could potentially bounce these two plus the Aetherworks Marvel, then immediately play the Marvel and then play these two again and uh, just go off. Interesting. All right. Or maybe they already have another Marvel, so they don't care. Yup. How many basics do we have left in the deck? I'm gonna thin the deck out. I, I really, I really cannot afford to miss this draw step again. Like, I have so much mana now, Improvise is irrelevant. All right, let's get both lands out of the deck, right? Surely I could not draw any more lands. Surely. Okay, at least that's something to do. Not a great thing uh, right now when this is resolved, but still something. And it all goes back to me misplaying earlier, not counting my opponent's mana. I assume they had five lands, but they had six. So counting is, uh, counting's hard. Okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're going to hard cast Ulamog next turn if they have a land. I mean, I may as well counter it, right? Giving them another spin right now is not a good idea. At some point here, come on, deck. You got to give me something. All right, that's something. Some solutions uh, must I'll just be go ahead built. and play that and pass. So they can make one Thopter right now, unless they have Ulamog in hand, which they do, and they're they're at ten mana, so I'd be amazed if they didn't. Cause they they've entirely missed on Aetherworks Marvel. Get rid of the Whirler, Virtuosos, those are a problem. So at five. Whoa! They really not have anything? Oh, come on. Don't give me the land. Ugh. In for more damage. This is a way for me to block the opponent without actually ever having to kill anything of theirs. If I minus and get a side, I don't know if that helps because they, they are very close to just casting an Ulamog. How could I possibly win, right? I mean, if they resolve that Ulamog, when they resolve that Ulamog, what am I looking to do? Like, I, I, I can't, I mean, I'd have to draw a counterspell for it. That's the only way. Alright, well, may as well activate this. That's a good one. And it, okay, so that card perfectly blocks. Yeah, okay, I kind of like that. 
decisive action is needed. It perfectly blocks either one of these threats without actually killing it. Four, seven, right? So I'll still have enough mana to play that? Yeah, sure. All right, I will now play my Herald. Pass. They would have to not draw any lands for a bajillion years and also discard all their Ulamogs. There's one. They draw a land, we're, we're in trouble. All right, cool. So they at least can't cast Ulamog this turn. And we are going to just chump block here. Whatever we do, we cannot actually afford to kill any of these threats. Oh no! Now I have to kill something. You and I are going to take them out. Right, because they just kill my 1-4. If we just let Karn go. Stop, drop, and roll won't help you, buddy. Yeah, maybe we just let Karn go. Yeah, you got it. Can't let them spin that unless I find something to do. All right, go ahead. Oh, right, they can do that. Well, that's fine, though. If they use that, that's not that big a deal. Yep, you got it. So negate was what was in hand. So how many more Ulamogs are there? How many Ulamogs you got for me here, opponent? Oh, yeah, here you go. That's right. Three, four, seven, ten. They still have ten mana. I forgot this adds mana. Oh, boy. Well, I guess what I should have tried to kill this then. But if I killed that, then they would just get the get the top to spin again. Yep, yep. All right, let's go ahead and kill that. Sure. Yep. Uh, I gotta kill this Thopter or Whirler or Virtuoso person. Yeah, it didn't matter either way. I mean, I guess like this wouldn't net them two more mana. Can I win from here? I think I, I definitely... Is that a misplay in killing this? I guess that means they, they definitely had one in hand. I should have been going for that, right? Like, making it so that they are stuck with the ones in hand. Make them flip. Yeah, I probably should have done that. That's a misplay on my part. So 20 cards are exiled, right? A little bit late to the game, but... All right, sure, opponent. We don't survive two attacks. I would have to find a, the thingy that bounces. Oh, that's too late. I guess there's still a shot, right? I chump block. They swing. I'm down to seven cards. I gotta hope they don't hit the... Oh, no. They had that, too. Okay. But then I bounce in. This, what does that do for me? Does it do anything? Uh-huh. I think this is game over. All right, we'll, we'll do it again. Go to the next game. GG's. All right, that's on me. So now we're going to definitely bring in Padim. Herald of Anguish. Negate was pretty important there. Heartless Act's probably better than Fatal Push, as Heartless Act actually just straight up kills whatever I need it to. One Extinction event in the event of a resolved uh, Ulamog, I guess. It's nice to give myself one out. I misplayed that game, so I, I, I got it. I, I understand. Don't worry, YouTube. You don't got to yell. You don't got to yell. I can hear it from here. I know. Let's play. Keep. Hopefully we draw more uh, enablers and stuff like the schematics and stuff like that.
You know, Ceremonious Rejection can just counter an Ulamog, so maybe we should start playing a ton of those. Land? Cool. At least it's a land, so I can at least try to play one of two sides in my hand. Sweet! Alright, Rogue Refiner, sure thing, bud. Land, huh? Well, let's get the slow grind going. One damage. Your turn. Uh, I, I'm not tapping out for Karn here. There's no timeline where I tap out for Karn and <laughs> not lose the game. Uh, let's see what you got. Can't let the opponent resolve Chandra, so now... What do I do here? I need to find a Graph Digger's Cage. Mm, that's not it. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to visions. The choices we make reveal who we are. Alright, we got another land. Unfortunate, but kind of the way things are right now. Here comes the Marvel. Oh, Glimmer of Genius. Okay. So if I minus out two artifacts, that makes it so I have... Oh, wow. So two cards in hand? That's concerning. That is extremely concerning. Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Does this resolve, opponent? Okay, we still got our, our, our token. Oh, boy. Ulamog gone. Tune with E. Oh, darn it. They're going to spin the Marvel now, aren't they? I just got to hope they miss. That's my best bet here that they miss. Uh huh. I was more of a DC guy, anyways, you know? Really like DC. Was never really a Marvel fan. Whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Uh. Please. Please miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes! We've got a shot! Um... Play a Psy? I don't like giving the opponent anything to do, but... I think that's the timeline I'm on. So do they want to use this Mystical Dispute fully knowing that I can pay for it? <laughs> there is great power in the things you make. All right, got rid of Chandra. Gave them an energy out of it, but this is a good start so far. Oh, two Ulamogs in hand. Opponents just gotten very unlucky with how many Ulamogs they've been drawing. All right, so that's three energy. Opponent's deck must be fueled by Red Bull. So, that, I mean, they've got they've got energy for days, right? You see what I did there, YouTube? That joke was funny because Red Bull, by the way, this is not a sponsored ad, is an energy drink company, and it gives you energy when you drink it. Do you do you get it, YouTube? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. A curious choice. Or probably not getting. I don't imagine we're lucky enough to get something like a uh, two. Wait, is this tap? Nope. Uh, yep. Yeah, nope. Doesn't matter. Doesn't need to be untapped for it to work. Oh no no no! Back 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 back. You ha ha! You discard again, with no cards in hand. Not a Baral's expertise. Nice, and we got there. Let's take the play. Oh, it's Luris. All right. Um, we just gotta hope we draw. <laughs> So, I, I think this is just one of those matches we like auto lose, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try it. Either version. I mean, I guess Rakdos uh, Pyromancer isn't the end, but it's not exactly great either. All right. Here you go. You, you can choose between one of my two things that give me something to. Uh... <laughs> we gotta find our Graph Digger's Cage as soon as possible, or else this is we're going up Kaka Island. Oh, Grixis Pyromancer, I see. All right. Well, I'll have you know that I have a fatal push, and now you will take 
one damage. You're now at 15. Most of it was dealt by you. Okay, opponent. What do you have on three? What what new ways can you make me sad? Let me tank real quick. Thinking. Thinking. Okay. <laughs> I got nothing, bud. Sorry. You're already dunking me. Oh, wow. Drew what I needed, turns out. Taste. Taste it. We're still gonna lose this, that's the best part, but at some point we'll draw something, I promise. I promise, YouTube. Thank you, deck. Thank you. Oh, no, do you have... Oh, okay, has, like, Spell Pierce? No way, you wouldn't. You wouldn't dare. I Say hello to Just gonna go ahead and start making some plays. Good news about Karn? Doesn't put the card in my hand, so I don't have to worry about it. Sure, 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 sure. I need to find an answer to this Luris pretty quick. Pretty quick. Like that. Well, you know, sometimes when you hand pick what you draw, it obviously looks a lot better. Do not get in my way. My artifact strength. Awaken. All right, go ahead and just pass, I guess. Um, Kroxa, yeah, yeah. So that's six damage to us this turn. We gotta figure out a way around this Kroxa. I mean, luckily, the opponent has to d block, actually, with both creatures. Because I'm gonna make an Ethereum cell, and that's gonna turn both of these uh, little uh, StarCraft units. Is that Rainer? No, that's not Rainer. I mean, we also have lethal, but it seems dope. And we get them, we got them dead. We got really lucky, actually. <laughs> that was just like, act, like legitimately handpick what I want to draw, and that was what I did. So, very much so skill intensive for me there. I used both halves of my brain to, to win that one. <laughs> I got so lucky. <laughs> I don't even like, I just feel gross. I don't even feel like like anything happened. I just feel gross. Sick win, bro. <laughs> nice draws. Thanks, dude. It starts with four bananas every morning and two eggs. Mixed with some sriracha. Uh, counter spells are weird. Hmm. Seems good. I'll try it. We have a rebuke, a fatal push. We got some stuff to do. We getting thought seized? Don't do it. Okay, opt. Grixis Pyromancer from the opponent. I like this. I like what the opponent's doing, so I'm a fan. Consider me a fan. Weird. Dude with Grixis hair likes Grixis deck. More news <laughs> at 11. Um, uh, Thought Sneeze. All right, fine. Think you take the rebuke, right? Oh, okay. Unless you have a, something else to do, that's also cool. Maybe like croaks to me or something? May I has? You, you gonna negate this? <laughs> would you would you like to negate this? <laughs> so they have an abraid. So oh no, they have an opt. Okay. Uh what do I do now? They play something, we immediately windmill slam this. Oh boy, please untap land, untap land, untap land for the home team. Dang. That was not the untap land we were looking for. I mean, it was, but I mean, we needed it earlier, not turn 432. All right, opponent. Let's just try to draw again. Is Shatterstorm in? Oh, Shatterstorm is legal. That, that is a real thing. There is a Shatterstorm in this format. So if I get Shatterstormed, I'm going straight to the Shadow Room. I'm packing my bags up and I'm gonna call my mom and cry. We're gonna make him tap out so I can resolve this Tezzeret. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. This time we accurately made them tap out like how we wanted them to. So, one, two, three. So that's three. I play Tezzeret. That's three, six mana, seven. Right? Am I, is my math wrong? Three, six, seven? Okay. Keep that on top. Three, six, seven. Okay, cool. I am perfection. This should strike fear into you. Oh! Yup! Seems good! <laughs> Math is hard! Let's take the play! Oh! Huh. 
Mm, no, I don't think I want that. All right, that's better. That's a hand I can get behind. Karn is a lot easier to deal with. This gets me artifacts. I think I'm gonna go with the, the Antiquities War. We're gonna lead with this uh, Graph Digger's Cage. This way the opponent doesn't surprise us with some kind of like graveyard shenanigans. All right, is the opponent like a Marvel deck? Yes, they are. All right, so we play Psy. Come on, deck. Give me an untapped land here. Mm, well, not untapped, but a land on the, I mean, something to do. All right, so I don't care about Marvel until they can answer this Graph Digger's Cage. I do want this Antiquities War to go off, so I need to get this going ASAP. Tune with Ether. I'd like to borrow a land, please. Thank you. Imagine if I had an opposition agent here. That should have totally been his put into historic. They should just put some Commander Legends cards in here. It would have been sick. All right, go ahead and set a stop there. Nissa, I'm already upset. <laughs> I will aid you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All right, how do I win? I need a land. I need a real land. Ah. That's not the same. That gets rid of that, but that doesn't get me a land, so I gotta keep going. Okay, that's something. Okay, so they have to discard something. That feels good. Two, four, six, seven, eight. So one force means Ulamog, unfortunately, for the opponent. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but... Like, maybe... Like, if I had found one land, I would have been able to, like, kill this. We'd be okay. I gotta set a stop again. Alright, so that's another force, so... They are actually ha already have the mana. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So just show me Ulamog, and then uh, it's game over. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter. Ha! <laughs> A <laughs> Graph Digger's Cage. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, opponent. Not really. Hold on. You're playing Nissa. I don't feel bad. <laughs> You're playing Nissa. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd feel bad if you weren't playing a Nissa deck, though. That much I do know. Oh, no. So they can make two things? I guess I can bounce one, kill the other. That's not bad. All right. I really do need a land, though. Please? Gotta keep digging. All right, so, unfortunately, didn't draw it. Okay. So they're gonna make a little weenie. Turn that to their hand. Kill that. All right, we got Nissa out of there, and now they have to discard another card. So I like where we're at right now. I like this game that we're playing. Probably have a Marvel or something, don't they? Three, six, so I see what they're going for. Yep, another turn timber, but that won't work because Graph Digger's Cage, Marvel, same thing. So it looks like we're gonna be okay. All right, we'll block. Finally. You uh, let's, I guess, kill that thing. Ether Hub looks cooler. <laughs> And that seems good. We just keep killing the mana. All right. Ooh. Never feel bad for the Nissa deck. I never do. I never do. <laughs> I never do. All right. What are we looking for today? So Heartless Act actually just kills everything, right? So I may as well just leave Heartless Act in uh, for this matchup. Except for like Ulamog, but you know, that kind of is self-explanatory. Antiquities War, they don't know about that yet, but we do have Tezzeret. Tezzeret's been coming in as a hot four mana removal spell since we don't have Battle at the Bridge. Ahem, <clears throat> wizards. <laughs> Why don't we have that? I don't know. So we're gonna get a braided like left and right. I'm pretty sure. Keep. Seems good. We have uh, turn one. <laughs> Power play right here. We have Padim to hopefully try to protect it. Assuming we get to four mana, that's been pretty ambitious. All right, cool. Go Graph Digger's Cage. Pass. 
Tune with Ether. I wish this also prevented searching. Graph Digger's Cage should also just be a stranglehold. Come on. Let me think here. This guarantees that I get some land next turn, right? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and play the Renegade map. It's much safer to play the Renegade map. Alright, opponent. Alright, so if we don't find what we need, we go and pop the Renegade map to go grab it. Hmm. What's the opponent looking to do this turn? Rogue Refiner. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy. Okay, so if they resolve like any like a ham sandwich right now, I'm dead. If I don't do something, I'm gonna die, so. Yep, probably gotta do this now. All right, because they don't have a braid, so I guess I'm okay. Like, even if they resolve Marvel, that's not the end. As I said, you know, always been the DC guy, totally. Oh, please, let me play another Herald. Oh, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's two Heralds. And now they discard two cards. They're running out of cards to play with. Ooh, please, please, this is so sick. Two Heralds of Anguish. Oh, that's a lot of anguish. That's a lot of anguish. And they're discarding Nissas. And there's just Nissa cards in the graveyard. This is just making me happy. And it's not even Christmas yet. Ah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I need to the this is the first time in my life I think I've ever said whatever to seeing a Nissa. The land fights for us. <laughs> even odd, huh? All right, know what we're doing. Kill? Surprise! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to kill Nissa. It's not a surprise. Everyone saw that coming. I must go. So I can block and kill a creature, right? So that means block. Let's activate this. Let's go grab a land. That's another creature to block with, and I can go ahead and sacrifice the servo schematic. No, never mind. I'm not doing that. I gotta keep this around. Yep. Down to six. It's looking pretty good for us so far. Play Padim. Hexproof for my stuff. Pass to the opponent. Sure, Marvel, you got it. That is nothing. Oh, but they do get to draw the card. That's unfortunate. Fun patrol. Let's go ahead. Three, six, seven, right? They're nowhere near uh, Ulamog mana yet, so you got it, bud. I can also just sacrifice this. Uh, it's still not enough. Three, six, seven, eight. Yep. Oh, yeah. The only thing I need is just for this opponent here to not draw the Whirler Virtuoso. And I think we're okay. As long as I leave something back every turn, I should be okay. Three, six, seven, eight. So still not enough to cast Ulamog. Look at all those Nisses in the yard. Can't help but feel happy. So many Nisses. Oh yeah! And it looks like we take it home. Oof. GG's, five and oh. I can't believe it, but the deck went and did a clean 5-0. and Let's say we took this to the ladder. Let's just call it a 3-2. and I think the deck has... It, it played exactly as I remembered it did back when it was in standard. I played this, but back... The issue with it back then was that Ixalan was also in standard, and tons of people were running Brontodon, and Brontodon just absolutely embarrassed the Antiquities War. So I think what we're looking for here is... Well, now maybe we can... I think Antiquities War is good, but maybe as a two of. Something else could be in that slot. Um, as you could see, maybe we, we could use some more ways to interact with Planeswalkers. Um, we don't have much interaction out of Fatal Push, Tezzeret. Uh, and, and so we're just kind of hoping to go bigger than them and go over them with our Antiquities War. So this is just a rough build. Is this final? I don't think so. We didn't get paired against Goblins at all. Uh, I'd like to see how this deck does against Goblins. Other, and then, of course, I can't imagine us doing too well against Saltai Midrange. Um, so we, we got lucky against like the, like getting paired against Marvel because Graph Digger's Cage does work there. But all around, I think the deck is pretty sweet. 
I'd love to see Herald of Anguish get some play because that card is pretty powerful. It's still looking for a home, and this is a potential place for it. And I'm, of course, going to keep exploring to see what else we can play it in. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Historic 101. And as always, thank you for showing the love in the, the comments and just showing support for the content in any way, shape, or form. As always, feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next Thanks one. for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.